Well, this week is going to be slightly different. I am off on an adventure. completely different for you this week. Um, there won't be any quaint, charming English countryside scenes to be found um, on our channel this week. Um, instead, I have skipped across the pond. I am currently in America. Um, I've been traveling since, well, I got up at 10 to three this morning. Um, so I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah, 10 to 3 I got up and then Peter and Heidi drove me all the way down to London. So we got there for about half six and a half nine flight uh, to New York. And uh, that took about eight hours, then a two hour layover and then another flight down to my final destination, which is Myrtle Beach. Um, it's in the state of South Carolina um, on the East Coast. So I'm going to be staying here for three nights and then traveling down to Florida. So yeah, it's going to be something completely different this week, which I'm really excited about. I haven't been to the US for about eight years, seven years, since 2015. Uh, me and Peter last came in 2015 and that was to go to New York and we just did all the uh, all the sightseeing things that you do on a trip to the city and it was absolutely gorgeous it was february and it was covered in snow central park was just yeah under feet of snow the ponds were all frozen over and everyone was doing ice skating and it was just absolutely gorgeous but anyway um yeah i haven't been back to the states since then we had heidi and then obviously the whole uh, covid thing happened so yeah, it just never happened. We never got back again. But now I will be spending the week here on the East Coast, um, working with the tourist board, uh, doing photography and um, getting to explore this part of the country, which I, I've never been to South Carolina. Um, I've been to Florida before, but not South Carolina. So I'm really excited to see what it has to offer because it looks absolutely beautiful from what i have uh, seen so far i've got a really stunning view outside my hotel room let me turn the camera around for you so this is my view at the moment it's getting close to sunset time um i think it's about half seven at night now i think so the sky is starting to turn all lovely shades of pastels going to be going into golden hour so might possibly take a little wander down there or just enjoy it from my balcony um so yeah we're staying at the hilton hilton beach resort i think it's called there's a couple of hiltons here in myrtle beach so this is my room i've got two double beds i'm not entirely sure why i've got two double beds but anyway so a bit of extra space um closet over there and bathroom um yeah just a simple room and this will be my space for the next few days and believe it or not those two tiny bags are all i've bought for a week in america um i'm hoping i haven't underpacked i do like to travel light although this this is very light for a week but I think I've got all the clothes I need and then um, I've managed to squeeze all my cameras into this small bag. So I've got the GoPro, got my little mini camera there, got my bigger one, uh, different lenses, everything I need hopefully. Um, but yeah, this is what I will be enjoying. Some seaside coastal places. So quite different from English countryside scenes but I'm really looking forward to showing you around. But as for now, it is way past my bedtime. It's about half 12, I think, back home. Everyone's in bed, Peter and Heidi, my parents. I am shattered and I am very much looking forward to just going and crashing in my bed. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I will set an alarm nice and early. Um, I want to get up for sunrise, hopefully, um, which should be very, very doable because I don't think I'm possibly going to sleep for 11 hours. That's that's not going to happen. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and crash and I will set my alarm early and be out, out for the crack of dawn, I think. Fingers crossed. And then we've got a busy day planned for tomorrow. There's um, Brook Green Gardens. Uh, I think that's right, Brook Green Garden. Um, so we're going to this really nice, really pretty, from what I've seen in photos, garden. And then, um, yeah, we've got a few other exciting things lined up. Sky wheel, boardwalk, um, I think even a trip to the theater. So I'm gonna go in and crash for now and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. I have been up since 5 a.m., which was a wonderful 10 hour sleep. And uh, it's now about quarter past six. The sun has just started to make an appearance. The moon is still out. What a wonderful view to wake up to. All those beautiful pastel colors in the sky. just arrived at the Brook Green Gardens here in South Carolina. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this garden. I think it's a sculpture garden and I think there's a zoo and a butterfly house as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and have a little peek inside and see what we can find. Look at this, isn't this amazing? I've never seen trees like this. So these are what I sort of envision when I think about coming to uh, this corner of America. That's so pretty. so overdressed it's not even funny um but yeah it's so beautiful here it's one of those places that is way more beautiful in person than you can ever capture on camera it's absolutely stunning oh really enjoying this this is a, an amazing start to the trip time in the garden it's absolutely beautiful so hot so muggy and now we have come to the beachfront we are going to go on the sky wheel which is just up there and uh, then we're going to go for a little wander along the boardwalk and thankfully it is nice and cloudy now i feel so much more like at home it's a, a reasonable temperature now although it's still quite clammy feels like we're going to have a good storm <laughs>
another morning, another beautiful sunrise. So today we are off on a trolley tour. This is our trolley and we're doing a little uh, tour around Nettle Beach. We've just been to Top Golf. It uh, turns out that I'm really, really a rubbish at golf. I could barely even hit a ball. Anyway, on to the next destination. <laughs> Whiskey tasting. Much more promising. You are now approaching the vehicle assembly building. Or is well, I am up for sunrise and I am off to go and enjoy it on the beach. Best place for it. So yesterday we had a, uh, a really interesting day at the uh, Space Center so warm though um, and after that we got back to the uh, to the hotel and we just decided to go and lounge on the beach for a few hours so I've got quite a bit of colour now you can probably see with my neck rather red anyway and then um, we just went out for a really lovely dinner and uh, got a pretty early-ish night um, nine o'clock-ish um, as today is our last day we are off for a four hour trip around a nature reserve and then uh, we've got a two hour surfing lesson, which is gonna be interesting. I have never surfed in my life and I have very poor balance. Um, so that's what is on the agenda for today. We'll see how that goes. So at the moment we are just on a tour of Merritt Island Nature Reserve. We've seen a few birds, some herons and egrets, ospreys, um, just seen a little lizard and um, we've also spotted a few alligators. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wander around the mangroves, see what we can find. We've found little tiny baby alligators so far, but it'd be nice to see a proper big one. Wow. Well, there's the biggest one we've seen so far, about five foot, so laying there in the ground. Oh, 
trying to film some of the girls. tell by the look of me I'm a state I've been in the ocean all afternoon and yeah I'm looking an absolute mess I can't wait to jump in the shower desperately desperately need a shower so today is our last night here in America tomorrow we fly back um, it's been a really really good trip doing so much stuff that I probably wouldn't normally have done um, like today, like surfing. The nature reserve was really good this morning. We were there, I think it's about four hours we were there. We saw all sorts of things, um, really, really fascinating. Quite a lot of alligators, so they were cool to see. Nothing um, giant, but yeah, even the small ones were just amazing to see in person, seeing as you don't get to see those just uh, out in the countryside in England. Um, so yeah, that was fun, and we went straight from there to the beach and had a two-hour surfing lesson and got drenched. I was covered in seaweed everywhere, <laughs> so much seaweed. Uh, so yeah, we just checked in now. We've had an hour drive from Cape Canaveral, where we were, um, across to Orlando. We've just checked into the Marriott Hotel, which looks really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna have a shower, get ready, wait for some of the other girls to get back from the beach because Liv, Paige and Naomi decided to stay a bit longer. They wanted to tan. Um, I got enough of a tan yesterday. <laughs> I'm so red, <laughs> I'm so burnt. Uh, so I came back with, uh, uh, with a few of the other guys and um, yeah, ready for shower, get ready and go out and get something to eat. This is the plan. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Really, really tired. As amazing as doing these trips are, they are absolutely draining. I think that, like, they're always very tiring because you, you're on the go from the moment you wake up at like five, six in the morning until you go to bed at night you are constantly working the whole day um so that in itself is tiring but then when you also add in the heat factor that you have here in florida and the sunshine like the sunshine drains you so much anyway i will be sleeping like a baby tonight i think that is safe to say anyway time for a shower and i will catch you before dinner Cute little stream. Look at that, it's like an old saloon bar. How cool! Church Street Station. This is really funky.